Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Britt and I make videos about books and illustrating and just what's happening in my life basically. And I'm very excited for this vlog because I'm going to try to make it into a very cozy one again with lots of reading, lots of working and lots of good food because <laughs> eating good food throughout the day definitely makes me very happy. And something I'm very excited about about this vlog is that it's in collaboration with the book of the month, one of my favorite online companies when it comes to finding new books to read and discovering new up and coming authors. So if you don't know, Book of the Month is a US based online subscription service for readers who love to discover new books. Because the team at Book of the Month go through hundreds of new titles every single month, they pick their favorite ones. And those are the books that you can choose from. So you don't really have to do the research. You can just pick a book that that team loves. Not only are they amazing hardcovers, you now also have the option to choose an audiobook. So you can get either the hardcover option or the audiobook if it's available in audio as well. I am so excited about the two books that I picked for this month so let's quickly go through them. The first one is called Hereafter written by Amy Lynn and this is a memoir. I'm always a sucker for memoirs. I find it very interesting when people can write so openly and honestly about their lives especially when they went through something very difficult. One day her husband suddenly passed away during a run. He was doing a marathon and he passed away and this is all about grief, how she's dealing with this grief and how she's trying to live with this because it's of course a very very difficult situation. So this is probably not going to be a very happy read but definitely a very interesting one. And the next one is called Any Bot, written by Sierra Greer. Was I first interested in this book because of the cover? Maybe because the cover is amazing but this one sounds so cool. So basically this is about a robot called Any Bot who is created by her human owner, Doug, and she kind of is designed to be the perfect girlfriend. And of course, being in a relationship with an AI or like a robot, things are gonna go wrong. So I am really curious about this book. It's giving me kind of her vibes from the film Her. So I'm curious where this is gonna go. So if you are interested in trying out Book of the Month, you can get your first hardcover new release for only $9.99 using the code CHIRP because Spring is coming and I'm very excited. They've now also got a loyalty rewards program. So the longer you are a member, the more discounts and fun perks you get. I have been loving all of their books because they always choose a few up and coming authors as well as some well-known authors. So it's always a really nice selection of new books to choose from. So definitely check out the link in my description. Take a look at the website to see if it's something for you, something you would like to try out. And I'm just really excited to start reading these books. So thank you again so much Book of the Month for working with me on this video. And now let's continue with the vlog. Let's take a look at what I want to read this week and what my plans are. First of all, I actually am just really excited to start reading this book. So I'm going to start this one today and honestly I think I might be able to finish it before the new month starts because this is what the chapters look like. They're all quite short so maybe I'll be able to read this in like a day or two. I will definitely keep you updated. And I'm also still listening to an audiobook. I'm listening to Babel, which I actually also got as a book of the month book a few months ago. Um, but I've decided to listen to it on audiobook because I was feeling like listening to a fantasy audiobook that is very long because normally I listen to quite short audiobooks. But now I thought, no, I'm just going to listen to this super long one that's like over 20 hours. And I am loving it so much. If you've never heard of Babel before, it's about this boy called Robin Swift, who was from China. Both his parents passed away and then he was taken to London by this mysterious professor called Professor Lao. Lao? Lao? <laughs> and he's taken to London to study in England at Oxford University is going to be studying translation. I do believe it's also going to be quite violent in the end, but we'll see about that. I have heard really great things about this book and I'm only like 20-ish percent of the way through, so not that much. So we'll see how it's gonna go. But yeah, I'm excited for this vlog. I really hope you're going to like it. And let's do some work, let's go on a walk, let's have some good food, and I will keep you updated on my reading.
here to give you some reading updates because it is a quarter to one in the afternoon the next day and I have nearly finished this book already. I only have this much left and it is so good. I'm flying through it mostly also because as I said the chapters are really really short but it is incredibly good. It is definitely super heartbreaking but what I appreciate about these type of memoirs is I think it's very inspiring that people can be so open about tough situations that they you know are dealing with and things that have happened in their lives and how I think these type of memoirs can definitely also help people who may be in similar situations. I think it's really really good. I'm definitely going to finish it today so I will give you some final reading updates soon but I'm pretty sure this is going to be a five star read even though like I don't think you can rate memoirs but some definitely make you feel more than the other and this one is making me feel a lot so this one is amazing already. I felt like wearing this blazer that I used to wear in summer all the time and it's making me feel very um, summery and springy even though it is freaking grey outside but I'm so ready for sun. I also got some really really fun shoes in a meal yesterday that are just perfect for spring and summer. And yes, I'm going to be a basic B with these shoes because I think half the world has these, but come on. But these Adidas Gazelles are just so much fun and I was really like, I didn't know which color to get, but I was just drawn towards the red ones. So I got these really fun red ones and I'm so happy with them. They just look so fun. And I wore them today already, so that's nice. They're quite comfortable, even though I need to get used to this bit because this is quite hard on my skin, but... They're so fun. I got these ones with this cool kind of detail here. And this part is kind of a darker red compared to just it being this bright red all over the shoe. So yay, very happy. Right now I'm gonna do some more work. And then after that, I think I'm just going to do a little reading sprint with myself finishing this book because I'm just so close to finishing it. And tonight I have a salsa lesson because I'm still doing like this salsa course. I've, been, I've done the beginners one and now I'm doing the next one. But after this one, I'm gonna stop it because I now kind of know lots of the basics of salsa, which is really fun. And that's what I wanted. I just wanted to be able to do some of the salsa dance basics. So if I ever happen to be at a salsa party, I can dance with someone without feeling like a noob who cannot dance any salsa. So just a few more lessons. And it's just really fun trying something new and learning like definitely learning something new because I have no clue. But let's do some work and I will see you soon. I'm just having a little like fun snack before I go to my salsa class because afterwards I'm gonna eat properly my dinner. But before that, I just want to eat something. So I just have these really big lettuce leaves with some hummus and some veggies and some sesame seeds and some crispy chili oil and some fried onions whilst watching some below deck because I'm still addicted. Good morning, happy Friday everyone. I wanted to give you some reading updates because I have quite a few. First of all, I have finished Hair After by Emily, which was so good, very emotional, very like a difficult read and just one of these memoirs that will definitely stick with me for a very long time. So I highly recommend this book. After that, I continued reading Arcadia, one that I've been reading for quite some time now. It's pretty big, but I'm reading it on my Kindle because it kind of helps me to read it a bit um, easier because I'm always quite intimidated by these super big books. This is about three different worlds that are kind of interconnected. It's about time travel and fantasy worlds, and it's quite interesting. It's pretty good, but it's constantly switching between POVs. It is quite a difficult read. It's quite dense. And there are even like these whole kind of guides online to see like how the book works and stuff. So it's quite a difficult read, hence why I decided to also start a new book that's a bit lighter and a bit easier to read. So I've decided to finally start reading The Love, The Love, <laughs> The Love Hypothesis written by Ellie Hazelwood. And this is a, a cute romance that takes place at Stanford University. It's about biology. It's about love. It's about cutesiness. <laughs> so I've decided to um, read this one as well on my Kindle so I can just quickly grab it whilst on the train and everything. So that's the kind of easy book that I'm currently reading because I'm also still listening to Babel by Aurof Khan, which is also quite big and dense and um, yeah, 
pretty big. Lots of information. So this is the audiobook that I'm listening to. So I'm reading quite a few different books at the moment, which always helps um, if I just choose different genres to read at the same time, because I'm not really the best at focusing on one big book at the time. So I always like to just switch between different books that I'm reading. As I said, it's Friday today. I am going to be working in the Swan Market store in Delft where I sell my products. So I'll be working there today from 12 till six. And then it's the weekend. I'm very excited for this weekend to just relax and chill. And the weather is amazing today. So I really hope it's gonna stay this way for the weekend as well. So fingers crossed. But yeah, I'm going to be doing some work before I leave because it's only 8 a.m. and I've already had breakfast, I've already showered, done my makeup, get dressed, and it's only 8 a.m. So I feel like it's gonna be quite a productive day. Good morning, happy Saturday. I'm so excited about this weekend. The weather is amazing and I just have so many fun plans because first of all, I'm going to Croissants, which is a lovely croissant place here in Rotterdam, which is owned by one of my best friends. So I'm gonna get a nice croissant there or maybe another pastry or like some coffee. And then this afternoon, which is not very fun, but I need to get a new passport photo taken uh, for my driving license because this, is 10 years old. Look at baby Brit. Yeah, so I need to renew my driving license because it's been 10 years. I'm excited for a new photo, but I literally keep putting it off. I got the message that I need to renew it like a month ago and I still have like a month or like a month and a half even, but I just need to get a new photo taken. So I think I'm just gonna go for this very simple look, put my fringe away and just like, <laughs> Like, why do I make such a big deal of it? It's just a freaking passport photo, but I need to have this photo for another 10 years. So I want to make it a good one. <laughs> so I hope I'm just finally going to do it this afternoon. And then later today and tonight is museum night, which is this really cool event that is hosted every year where all the museums in town open their doors late at night and even like in the evening and at night until like one or 2 p.m. And you can just visit all the museums, there are parties, there are fun workshops. So I go there uh, every year and it's so much fun. And I'm very excited. So fingers crossed that it is not going to rain because then we can just easily cycle everywhere. And tomorrow in the evening, I'm going to a hot pot restaurant. So lots of fun things planned. I'm going to try to film a little bit here and there and just end this vlog with a nice, little sequence of what my weekend is like. But right now I just want to give you a few reading updates because I have read around 20% of the love hypothesis already and it's just very fun. The one thing that I'm noticing is how often the writer mentions that the guy is like super tall and that the, the girl's like quite short. Is that some kind of thing? Like, why is that such a big thing? Like, oh, he's so big, he's so tall. And like, oh yes, he was so tall. Like, oh my God, we freaking know, okay? I think she's literally mentioned it 10 times. Um, so let me know in the comments if you had the same thing when reading The Love Hypothesis, because it's a bit annoying to be honest. Another thing I'm doing, because I'm just really like feeling very motivated to work more on my online shop and to like promote it more, do more reels, do more behind the scenes because I often, like I work on my online shop so much and designing stuff, but I keep forgetting to film it, which is a waste because I've got so much more opportunity to promote it. And I really want to promote it more online, like on YouTube as well as on Instagram. So I'm just trying to up my game when it comes to the marketing of my online shop and also the marketing of like packaging and make it look very cute. So what I'm doing now, um, I'll show you. I've been working on like some more fun packaging for just basically all my products. But the first thing I started out is with the notepads. You are getting a sneak preview of a new notepad that is coming very soon because this will be for my spring collection. Normally I just have my notepads, by the way. This is a new notepad. It's a Woodland Magic one that fits the theme of some of my other Woodland Magic um, products. But I thought if I do one of these cute paper kind of wrappers around it, it just looks so much more professional. So I now have 
this little thing where also says like 50 pages, A6 size, and I'm just loving this. So I'm going to be doing this for all of my notepads and just try to make it look more professional when I'm selling it in stalls. Because I'm also going to add um, a new stall to where I'm going to, like, to the collection of where I'm selling my products. Because the Swan Market store where I worked yesterday, they're opening a new store in Harlem, which is close to Amsterdam. So I'm going to be selling my products there as well. And I've also added another new store in North Holland, which is called the Luna Joy Boutique. And that store is in Verver's Hove. So if you live nearby, you can also find some of my products there. And the store in Harlem will be opening at the end of April. So I also need to kind of, you know, get ready with products and labeling everything and display. So just many exciting things when it comes to products and trying to market it a bit more. And I'm also going to be doing some more events and markets this year, which I'm also just super excited about. So lots of fun things are planned. The two events where I'll be selling my products this year month in March will be March 8th in Goes, which is a book talk event, and March 23rd in Utrecht, in the Library of Utrecht, where it will be like the the National Week of the Books, <laughs> um, like a book market, which I'm super excited about. I always have links in my description to my website where you can find all the information where I'm selling my products, which markets I'll be attending, so I'm super excited to just, you know, try to grow my stationary business basically so i'm excited i feel very motivated but right now i'm just going to edit a bit of this vlog and go over to croissants and just have a fun weekend and i'm going to end this vlog here but i will end the vlog with a fun sequence of some things i did over the weekend so thank you so so much for watching i really hope that you like this video and if you want to comment something but you don't know what to comment comment a butterfly emoji even though on here it's like a mot but Comment a butterfly emoji. Um, so I know you've reached the end of this video, which is just lovely. So thank you so much. And yeah, I hope you're having a beautiful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.